All right, welcome back to some more Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross. So today we're taking a look at the King of Fighters Britannia and the new King of Fighters collaboration. Uh, so to unlock this, you have to complete all the quests in the world quest here. So once you're done with that, you'll be able to unlock this. And it's a very new, exciting tournament-based event because uh, King of Fighters is a street fighting game or fight fighting game. Um, so basically you need these coins to be able to play and so you may ask how do I obtain these coins so you can obtain them either by playing the world quest and these are the uh, methods I know so far so either through world quest you can buy through the coin shop and also through so if we take a look here in the coin shop we go down you'll be able to buy them for silver coins um, and then you will also be able to get them, I just tested it, through the boss battle. Um, so these are the three possible ways I know how to get them. Um, and yeah, with that being said, let's take a look at the event itself. So before we quickly start, um, the event, you select one team to play throughout the entire tournament. And if you don't have enough fighter coins for supporting heroes, uh, or you use fighter coins for supporting heroes if you do not have enough so if you do not have the required heroes in normal and hard you can use your coins which I don't recommend you should do and if you don't obviously have the heroes and if you lose in battle it means you start over so that's basically game over like a usual uh, old game uh, however if you do play normal and hard you can use battle coins to continue the battle or to basically uh, yeah, so if we take a look, there are three difficulties, normal, hard and extreme and it also says who it's suitable for. So this is suitable for new players, normal, hard is suitable for people who have cleared chapter 7 or higher and extreme is suitable for, suitable for apparently players who have completed chapter 12 and it also says the combat class you need. And one more thing, if you take a look at normal and hard, they both require or not require, they both have non uh, equipment stats apply so your equipment are useless in normal and hard but in extreme the equipment does apply so do remember that so if we take a look at normal for instance uh, once you play you also get these progression rewards here um, and the thing with normal and hard is you don't need these characters uh, to play it <coughs> so you can play it for free and you can play all of these and complete them so you don't need the characters necessarily themselves you can use them or you can play the characters with coins basically um, and once you do complete you will be able to get these token of fighter or what, what are they exactly called they're called token of the fighter king so once you get a ton of these token of the fighter king you'll be able to go down here into the event exchange shop and you'll be able to exchange them from various rewards to tickets to awakening stones to different cosmetics for gotha um, and for the KOF collab characters, all all the characters will have uh, some, I think, not all, especially, actually just only Kyo. Um, yeah, but you will have KOF collab character costumes and cosmetics, then you will have growth stuff you can exchange for, and some more. So I do recommend you obviously play this as much as you can, but the catch is also, uh, obviously the harder difficulty you play in, the more of those coins you're going to get. So that goes from 28 in hard and in normal we have 16 and if you do play in extreme it's going to be a probably think 48 but the catch with extreme is so for example if you pick up or press on team KOF 98 I can't play because I do not have the required characters so in order to play I need the required characters the same goes for this so it goes for everything so you need the characters obviously to play these um and yeah so we're going to take a look and before we do that i would greatly appreciate it if you could leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and also be sure to check out the summoning video on the new banner and also everything that there is i've covered all with this new update they will both be linked down in the description so if we take a look at first normal which is obviously the easiest one for everyone we're going to go into this one here i've completed this one down here as you can see so this is my team you're not obviously going to play against every single team here so we can pick out and use them for coins so that will cost 15 coins so that's not what we're going to do so we're going to restart it here 
that was just to basically show and it cost one coin to start so just spend one coin but as you saw it cost 15 coins to use and i'm pretty sure it's going to cost 15 every single battle um so what we're going to do is we're going to change into a team i already have so it's going to be this team here and the same thing goes for here it says it costs five coins to use but i'm obviously just going to use lost vein and we're going to use the characters that does not cost any coins so here we go and we use you so now we have a full team of characters that does not cost coins if you see here it says five coins five coins these are the characters they give even though i do have the characters myself that give the same exact characters in normal and hard uh, so obviously use your own characters because i have a red Meliodas, Demon Meliodas in level 80, so why would I use a level 60 and use 5 coins for that? Um, so yeah, let's play through and then you can see for yourself how it works out. It's just very basic, you pick or not pick, you play against enemies and if you lose it's game over or you can use coins to res or continue. But if you do play an extreme you can't continue, you lose and your equipment stats does not apply. But that doesn't mean cosmetics don't apply, so this is going to be quite the easy thing because we have um what's it called theme not team videos lost vein excuse me so yeah just not nothing to we just play against the tournament but i just quickly wanted to make a video to kind of showcase how the system works before you put yourself into it and if you're curious about something and also if you want to know more please make sure to comment down below in the description i would greatly or I would really like to help if you need help, obviously. Um, so, there we go. Bang. Pop with another. And the reason you obviously want to play this is so you can get the rewards, especially the summoning tickets. Because you want to summon a new banner um, with those tickets, because they are obviously free if you just play the game and log in. So you can't really complain about that. Can't, we can't really complain about free stuff. So once we complete the first one, we're going to go into the second battle here. And as you can see, the X's or the people who lost in their brackets. So obviously we won. So now we're going to fight against this guy or the new generation Holy Knights. And once the winner is fine with this match in mind, we're going to fight against each other and brawl against each other. And then the winner of that team is going to brawl against me and then I think we're going to have one more last match, I'm not too sure. And you can also change the team uh, whilst, f or not whilst, but once once fight is done, it's done, you can change up your team if you want to, if you didn't think that works properly against the specific... The, the, holy fuck, excuse me. You can change your team once you're done with uh, each single match so you can t um, basically get your team towards who you're going to play against and you can also eat dishes so it's not too difficult of an event just make sure to play it every single day um, it is quite easy at least in my opinion so yeah for some reason I could not speak at all okay as you can see nothing too difficult also it's 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 normal so it shouldn't be hard uh, but just, just this is just a demonstration so yeah let's see and the same thing goes for extreme, like it doesn't change just because it's extreme is just obviously more difficult. Okay, that should be it. There we go, lost wing broken. Okay, we'll move on. So, the winner of my bracket is going to fight, and the winner of their are going to fight. And as you can see, you can change your team, you can also eat a dish, and you can see the enemy CC right here. So we're just going to keep going with this team, it doesn't really matter, because we're going to obliterate them. Okay, we've got a full catastrophe team. We're going to... Get Valenti out here. The first turn. Because she's a bit of a beefy, thick girl. That did not kill her. Okay. Good to know. Come on. 
So on X2, play a little bit quicker. Um, you're gonna kill Eastern um, Valenti here, I think so. Hopefully. Can we kill Eastern as well? No, we, we can't, we can't kill with this. Yeah, unfortunately we cannot. Yeah, we definitely got this next turn. Okay, we hit you with that, that, that. Bang, bang, bang. And Ethan should die now. There we go. And of course you fight various enemies, as you can see. And sorry for the lack of talking, that there isn't much to do, it's just easy. And I don't really want to skip it because I just want to have it in its purest form. So, there we go. And I think there is a, what's it called? Not an, what's it called? I think there's a fight after this, but I'm not too sure what it's called. Uh, not too sure what it's called because this should really be the final. Um gonna go for Melascula here. Zelda's actually looks so cool. I'm gonna get him with the, when the coin shop releases. With him. The red Zelda's. Okay. Yeah, we don't like that healing from her. This, this, and that. Okay, hopefully she's gonna die from okay, nice. Nice, nice, that is what we like to see. Okay, nice, she's just gonna level my cards up. Thank you very much. And we're gonna try and kill the soldiers here. Only 29,000. Yeah, not that much. No, unfortunately, that cannot kill. <laughs> but at least we got our ultimate. Oh, that looks sexy. Those elders look so nice, and he created on me. Thank you very much. So, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this. This should kill Valent. Come on, die. Bit of a tedious fight here. <laughs> and you can obviously put it on auto. But it's not that difficult. It's just a lot quicker when I would just play. Um, so yeah, the King of Fighters, thank you. Thank you for playing. There we go. That is it. So obviously that was so easy because it was on normal but if you do play it on hard and extreme it's going to be a lot more difficult and yeah with that being said i would gladly appreciate if you could leave a like on the video and also subscribing to the channel and i will see you next time peace